everyone, my name is Matt Scorpion and welcome to a very enthusiastic day because the Beyond Light Vidoc has finally dropped and not only that, in addition to my next video, my collector's edition for Beyond Light has also shown. So a minor note about that, I double checked my emails and said the, the actual game, physical game code for the download and the soundtrack will be emailed at a later date. So, moving on from that, if anyone bought the collector's edition wondering where your code is, that's that. So the Vidoc. Holy mother, they know how to get hype out of people with trailers. So to basically review, the Vidoc explores a brief glimpse into the story of how the Drifter, the Extra Stranger, and Eris are coming together to put a stop to Aramis. Even though, well, not even that. We know that's happening. But they show a little bit more inklings. They show more exotics, more weapons, and they showed a lot of care that went into the design of Europa. You know, they cover the landscape, they cover the sound. The sound design apparently was intricate, going on the theme of cosmic ice. And they showed more weapons, more details, and a bunch of other amazing stuff that I would recommend you go watch for yourself. Uh, most people, they would put it on, but it's a bit longer, so I'm just going to save the runtime. But there's a bunch of cool facts and little things. They, tell you, they talk to you about how there's several secrets beneath the ice, which I always love that theme of a frozen underworld that you just need to the when you go under the ice there is so much more to find and i love that deep those details not only that but they talking about europa yeah europa europa and all the cool new stuff the dynamic storm the new stasis subclasses and all that but they also mentioned the cosmodrome coming back and featured that a little bit so that is always nice just because as a d1 veteran the Cosmodrome is probably the place I spent all of my time. So it's nice to be back in old Russia. But aside from that, there's a bunch of other stuff they talk about, in, uh, aside from Europa and Beyond Light. And this is a spoiler word. Spoiler, because this is talking about some details that some might not be appreciative. They revealed what the next season of Destiny is. Now, for those that don't know, uh, with the new seasonal model, Shadowkeep released, and then Season of the Undying kicked off after that. So that's actually going to happen. The seasonal events are going to pick up a week after the... Yeah, Burp came on, sorry. A week after the DLC launches, and there's a roadmap involved. I'll throw that up right now for those who need to see it and take a quick little pause to look at it. But aside from that, there is a issue where the darkness has been creeping in and blah, blah, blah. And people are essentially taking advantage of the darkness's presence. Zivu Arath who, for those that don't know in the lore, is Oryx's other sister. Not Sabathun, she's another sister. He had two siblings, she's the other one. Now basically, she's taken to build an army by corrupting Hive. And the little intro cinematic shows Osiris in the Shrine of Oryx talking to us. And then Aldrin makes his Grand Guardian appearance. For those that don't know, not only was Aldrin killed, he was also revived, and became a guardian in addition to that he there actually have been steady reports there was some time in the edz there was some time in the tangled shore blah 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 but he seems to have found a home with spider and a bunch of other stuff so actually seeing not only aldrin pop in but discussion of zero roth working with sabathun as a uh, metaphor of sabathun placing dominoes in the line and the end of the year she's gonna start knocking them down it's really, really got the spine tingling. So aside from that, there's, of course, like I said, the roadmap. I, hopefully you paused it on screen. They get to talking about the next seasons and how each seasonal arc, uh, archive timeline will build up to the next DLCs. And there's so many great pointers. There's even a screenshot or that you can see where Zavala and Osiris are standing next to two Cabal Centurions that just are just hanging out. Not, not only are they Cabal Centurions, they're Red Legion. I'm actually double checking it. They aren't callous centurions. They're Red Legion, which I never thought to see them in any sort of friendly light. But aside from that, actually watch the vid doc. I'll go ahead and just put a link in the description or a card on screen. I forget if I can do the cards, but either way, watch it yourself. You will get hyped like crazy. Because if you're a Destiny fan, you will. Because I am. And I am. But aside from rambling sentences, my name is Matt Scorpion. 
Be on the lookout for my next video that will actually be showing my stupid face on the internet because I got my collector's edition and this is the first one ever that I've been able to actually buy in time because every other one sold out before I could even try. But aside from that, I will see you in the next video where, you, like I said, you'll be able to see my stupid face. And I will see you then.